DJ. It's Friday. Yes, we it know is. It, yes, which it means is. it's time to get feisty. Yes, it is. Time for those power rankings. Bring you right up to date with how things stack up. What did she mean about feisty? She made a comment about feisty. What did she mean by that? Take it easy. I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm just into that. Don't get riled up. The simple, I'm just a little bit confused about how this segment is supposed well, to go. And she is... said feisty, and I want, I want, I need to know what you want from me in terms of feisty. I just, want you, you tell me. I want you right now to give us your top five teams in the okay. National Hockey League Can I make as this... we speak today. Can I make this one little qualifier? I'm making my picks based on, and we're kind of, you know, the playoffs are clearly in view at this yes, point. Yes, yes. If they were to start tomorrow, who has the best, who's, whose game yeah. would prevail in a seven game series? All right. And for me, that's why the Boston Bruins are top of the chart. Oh. They have played exceptionally well. They are rattling off uh, in the throes of an 18 game point streak. Yes, they are. So I like the Bruins for that reason. Knocked off these guys. Uh, not that long yes, ago. That's correct. And that's a good hockey team. Yeah. They're threatening to upset my 95-96 Red Wings in terms of most wins in a single yeah, season. That's right. That's 62 for anybody falling. Yeah. How did that go in the postseason for that Red Wings? That's a different issue. That's a oh, question okay. that's not really relevant Sorry. to this discussion. Okay. All right. Sorry, Stu. The Caps, your defending champs, are rounding into form. They're looking good. Yes, they EJ, are. and here was my situation too. Okay. This is interesting. All right. I had a hard time. Uh, finding a basis to put anybody in the West into the yeah. top slots. The West yeah. is a little wonky right now. Wonky West. Wild wonky West. West. But I do like St. Louis's game. Uh, they've been one of the brightest stories of the second half. They have. And we just had Mike Greenlay on. He was talking about that Minnesota Wild team. Added Donato, added Fiala. They're going in the right direction. Right now, those are the five most powerful teams in the NHL right. in a playoff series if it started tomorrow. Okay. That's, I'm just kind of putting that framework around. Okay, I like it. I'm and saying. by the way, Mike Greenlee, I think he was purchasing some Panthers paraphernalia because he might have been. Yeah, he, he might have been. Panthers gift shop. The allegiance is the allegiance is only run so deep, you know. Well, you know, you know maybe you like somebody, that swag. You like that Florida like the swag. Look, they like yeah. the look. All right, let's get these out of here. But they're actually very good. They're actually very, very good. And, you know, I give oh you my God. credit. Oh, my gosh. Again, well, we did not speak yeah. beforehand, despite very many. There were a lot of conspiracy theorists out there. Thank you, Jackie. As always, I Jackie, appreciate where, it. Jackie, where's that voice coming from? Jackie's been here. Where did that where voice come from? Gallery. That, voice, gallery. that voice is not helpful. Yes. Not I, helpful. I think it's very helpful. Oh, thank you. I think it's very helpful. <laughs> but, uh, Boston, I'm with you. They've been playing really well of late, and we look, we look at these things in a smaller window. Obviously, during the course of the season, Tampa's had an unbelievable season, but the Bruins did beat them recently, and the Boston Bruins are in the throes, as Stu Grimson said, of this eight-game game point consecutive Bruins. point streak so uh, good for the Bruins Tampa second Washington playing good third this is where we differ a little bit I have that the is. San Jose Sharks who've been playing very well of late they've won three in a row six three and one in their last ten yeah. I could have had a couple of teams in here yeah. and Vegas has won five in a row and that's why I got them in there but you know Carolina's eight one and one in their last ten Carolina was hard that's to a, leave that's out that's a team that could be Arizona in there. was even Arizona hard to leave eight out. and two in their last ten yeah. could have had them in there so there's a number of other teams that we could have had in there. But as you see, we have the – Stu, we're on the right track for the first three, and I think it's fair. Yeah. I think reasonable you had the, reasonable people can argue about the last two. You had the same sense of the West, though, right? It's yes. a little bit – Wonky. They're just not uh, – they're not the powerful. It's not the not most right powerful now. conference in hockey but that said, at this moment in time. But that said, as we know from past Stanley Cup playoff situations – Ebbs and flows. Yeah, they're going to get a. They're going to get somebody flows. in the final, and if they do, they can certainly. They, you know, they will be there, no and they could win. So no should be no. funny, but good job, Stu. Yeah, I thought You're you on did it. really well. No communication on that. None. In advance, folks. That far comes as, uh, completely as you know, de novo. We did not communicate. Jackie, no. take it away. Jackie, EJ, you're please. a lot nicer during power rankings yes. when it's not Dan Rosen.